Hello there friends and uh, welcome to another video. Uh, today we're going to uh, put our WordPress uh, site up on uh, the internet. Um, there are many different ways in order to uh, do so. There are many different services, uh, but we are going to use uh, Pantheon.io. Uh, so just to quickly show you uh, uh, the theme we're going to use today, we're going to just use this uh, restaurant um, parallax theme uh, we created a couple of videos ago uh, I know it's been a while but uh, finally back with another one so as I said we're gonna go use uh, pantheon.io uh, so I have this page up here so it's uh, you can see the URL up there pantheon uh, pantheon.io now uh, in order to get started it's super simple you just click here, get started. And uh, after you've done so, you will be redirected to uh, the sign up page. So what you do here is you put in your uh, details. And uh, if you're an agency, you can tick this box here. But yeah, I'm not a, an agency. Or if you're working at a school, you can put in there as well. I'm uh, neither. So um, you, we just agree to the terms of use here. You can also connect here with uh, your Google account if you want, but I'm just gonna add up my uh, my name and and email. All right. So now I have uh, created all my credentials. So uh, now I all I need to do is uh, log in. So I'm gonna log in with my uh, email right here. And once you're here, just uh, fill in your email and your password. All right. So now I am uh, logged in. As you can see here, uh, Johan, welcome to <coughs> Pantheon. So what we're gonna do here is um, we are going to uh, start a new project. You have a couple of different options here. So you can uh, uh, migrate a copy of an existing site to Pantheon here, uh, just to see if you know uh, the workflow is uh, faster or the site works faster. But we're gonna start a new project. So just click here. And after loading the dashboard, uh, we just fill in the name here of uh, the site. So I am going to just do my, uh, maybe uh, my portfolio, perhaps. Let's see, my portfolio. Okay, Let's, so you can see the whole uh, URL here. Uh, that my portfolio, or maybe I should just put in my name here. So, Johan Portfolio. All right, and then choose a region. I am actually in the European Union. I think that's the closest for me. Um, so, uh, you can see that I need to collect data and other stuff there. Uh, so, let's just uh, click continue. You obviously choose your region. Now let's uh, continue. And uh, next here we have to uh, um, choose the uh, CMS we're going to use. And we have a couple of options here. So we have WordPress, Drupal uh, 8 and Drupal 7. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to use uh, the WordPress, obviously. Uh, so let's do deploy. All right, so now uh, the site has uh, uh, been deployed. So let's visit the uh, site dashboard. And uh, after we've done this, we can uh, uh, start uh, with our uh, with our uh, with our site. So visit the uh, development site here. Um, so what, what we're gonna do here first is uh, we're just gonna go up here, visit the development site. And you see here, it's gonna open up in a new window. Let's uh, do so. And uh, now we will get to the uh, installation. So I'm gonna do the English United States and then continue. And the site title, uh, my, you can always change this later, so my portfolio. Portfolio, username, 
I'm going to do Johan here. And then the password, um, I'm going to hide that. Case anyone would be interested to look. So, uh, like so. And my email, then uh, I guess I can check that later. And I want to discard for now in this thing, this site, because this is just a a, uh, a test site, right? So let's install uh, WordPress. And now we're in, all right? So what we're going to do here is just uh, log in to the, uh, to the dashboard here, all right? So I'll see you on the other side in, on the dashboard. And as you can see, it looks exactly the same as you would with any other uh, WordPress installation. All right, so we can see here the plugins are just about the, the same as uh, usual. So we have Accusmith and Hello Dolly. And for the themes, we have uh, these normal themes here, the standard themes. Um, so I will show you how to add your own theme here. Um, all right, so if you look at the uh, uh, front page here on actual site, you can see, so this is still what it looks like. Just the standard, uh, standard site here. So we're using this uh, Active 2020 uh, standard theme. So we're going to add uh, our custom theme. So um, it's uh, very simple. You can just use uh, Add New right there. Then uh, Upload Theme. So what you need to do here is you need to uh, uh, have it in a zip format. So uh, what uh, I'm going to do here is uh, go back here into our themes. And here, just take this theme here. And I am going to send to zip, like so. And just keep the same name. All right, so what you can do is just drag it uh, up here. And like so. And install. And then. Uh, Hopefully this will work. All right, okay. So uh, it's asking us for some additional information. So we have to enter our FTP credentials. So I think all our credentials are over here. So if we go to SFTP, all right, so here's the, uh, oh, so let's just copy here. So the host is this, so let's uh, go back here and paste it in and then uh, username let's uh, copy and there and then uh, the password so let's use our we can use our dashboard password here um so let's uh Okay, and let's proceed. All right, so theme installed successfully. All right, so let's uh, do a live preview. All right, so here we have it. All right, so let's, um, let's activate this one. Activate and publish. And uh, if you remember, we, we do have all our uh, uh, the settings that we that we made for our site. So we have them all here. Um, so that's good. Uh, let's close this one down here and let's go to our site. As you can see here, it's uh, activated. Uh, let's refresh here. Uh, let's see. It's a refresh. Uh, okay. For some reason, the picture isn't isn't here. But uh, regardless, you can see here we have we have the site up and running. So that's uh, just how easy it is to uh, to use Pantheon and uh, upload upload a a WordPress project. Uh, let's say you have a customer a client that you are uh, working for. And you want to uh, 
create a, a theme for them. You can put them up here um, as a development test area. And then uh, it's also a place we can direct your clients so they can see the progress on the, on the site. Right, uh, so that's that. Um, that's uh, it for this time. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next.